the tasting, you know, mm -hmm. for Ridgecrest. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll never forget it, right? I, I coordinated it with John to, to do the tasting. Up at the yurt? Yes. Okay. And he tells us, you know, hey, you know, it's going to be in the yurt. And the yurt is just fabulous. Cool. Thanks. And, uh, you know, I think John said that, you know, during harvest that, you know, you sleep there and you know, you're out there amongst the grapes. Mm -hmm. And uh, whose idea was it to, to do the yurt? And just like it's, it is, to me, the quintessential organ tasting experience thanks yeah it's very oregon and it was never intended to be a tasting experience per se right i mean it was always going to be like my little hideout <laughs> <laughs> honestly it was like where i went to escape from the bigger picture of things so when my dad and i left shehalem that was he left in february i left in march of 2018 after we both left I had a little free time on my hands, so I had maybe six months until harvest, and that was really the next thing that I had planned. Um, so waiting for grapes to ripen, um, I went on you know, a trip with my mother to Europe. I did some stuff around town here, you know, got caught up on my sleep from you know a good eight years of working my butt off. and I had um, I had this idea that I wanted to really spend more time up on Ridgecrest um, because that is the vineyard that we left to focus on. That is where the new brand was coming out of. And I thought to reconnect with this land a little bit more, it would be fun to have a place to stay. Camping is one of the things that I like to do with my free time. Um, I had a dog that loved being in the vineyard and it sounded like there would be nothing better than spending a weekend in the summertime watching meteor showers or whatever up in our vineyard. Right. So I found this awesome company um, around Eugene that makes yurts. And instead of like building a little mini cabin, which was like a tiny home, I was thinking about that too. Guess what? A yurt is a lot easier. <laughs> it is a little bit easier, yeah. maybe a little bit cheaper. I think they actually penciled out to be about the same. Oh my goodness. But I, my construction prowess is not something that I really wanted to tackle a whole tiny home. So I don't blame you. I just went with the yurt. All I had to do was build a level platform on which to build the yurt. And, um, so I did that with my free summer. So I built the foundation. I leveled everything. I built the, um, platform structure with a couple of friends and then went down and got the yurt, had a couple other friends help me put it up. Right. And since then, it's been like our little weekend escape, unless, of course, there are a lot of tastings out there. <laughs> so once we started Ridgecrest um, fully and we brought John on board, we did realize that we needed a fun tasting experience other than I love the studio. I love the Carlton Winemaker Studio where we make our wine, but... It's not always the easiest to taste there, and there's something about being in the middle of the vineyard that's really special, and that's what we love about that land, yeah. is being up there and experiencing the place where the grapes are grown. It, it's amazing. I mean, when I say quintessential, I mean, you, you drive down your little dirt road, and you're like, am I going in the right spot? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going through the vineyard, Yeah. and uh, you know, John's out there waiting for you. You come to a big bank of trees, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> There's the yurt. And I didn't even know I was going to be tasting in a yurt, mm -hmm. you know, so that was even more of a surprise. Mm -hmm. That was, I'll, I'll never forget that. That was Good. amazing. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. And it really helps that my partner, Rob, is um, into construction. He he does home remodels in his as his profession. So um, we were able to put a nice porch on the yurt as well. And we're probably even going to expand that over the next couple of years and make it a little bit bigger and a little bit more um, accommodating. So hopefully there's more to come. Maybe even a second yurt, you never know. <laughs> that would be amazing. You could like do an Airbnb or yeah. something for it. Yeah. yeah. Totally. I would sign, sign me up. I'll do it. Yurt camping party, multiple pods. Oh <sighs> That sounds fun, but it could also be a little bit of trouble, too. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> That's why we haven't done it yet. I don't blame you. <laughs>